Okay, so here we have a multimeter, and it is set to DC volts, specifically the 2000 millivolt or 2 millivolt scale. And using that, I'm going to get a baseline voltage reading just across my body. I'm not grounded right now. This is just from the left side to the right side of my body. I'm getting a baseline of about 30 to 40 millivolts. And that's the condition right now. It's the morning. I haven't showered yet, so there's some sweat and some salt on my skin. Could be a reason for a slightly higher than normal baseline reading. And here we have some magic rocks from Russia. And again, we're passively measuring DC voltage, so the meter isn't sending out any voltage. And there is no voltage drop, no difference between myself and the rocks. Um, if I wanted to measure the drop between my body and the ground, I would just hold this electrode and then stick this black one in the ground or get it on a ground wire. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stay isolated, and we're just going to see the effects on my body cell, as if, you know, my body is the galvanic cell, my skin is the salt bridge. So if I were a little battery, I'm pushing 39-ish millivolts, and I'm pushing that current at, we have set to microamps, 0.1 microamps, so, you know, not much energy at all. But watch what happens. Here we are back on volts. Get our baseline reading. Watch what happens if I pick up one of the magic rocks. I'm going to go for this piece of elite shungite here, making contact, and look at those readings. A large increase in that relative voltage. Let's go for another piece. Again, a big increase in millivolts. And really, I just have to touch the rock and incorporate the rock into that circuit. And I get an increase, a larger increase, in the millivolt reading when I go for these Type 3 uh, pieces of shungite here. It's close to a tenfold increase. Very close to that. Baseline around 35, 36. Pick up the rock. Look at that. And now when I touch both probes to the stone. Of course, that's going to form a bridging connection, and it's going to drop to zero as, you know, it is a perfect conductor. So path of least resistance, there is no voltage drop across this circuit. It's just connected right there. But if I separate and switch sides, not only do you see that increase in relative voltage, but the polarity has changed because I now have the magic shungite rock on my right hand, negative side. And you can do this all day. Oop, I'm not making contact with the rock there. Now I am. Look at that sign change. And so you can test this effect with various pieces. Here I'm just touching the probe to this Shungite Pyramid, and when I touch both probes, it shorts out, let up the other side, and you can create a crude AC current <laughs> by doing this with your body cell. Notice how the sign is changing. I sought out to test this effect after spending some time hanging on to one of these harmonizing cylinders, like this in front of the body, and when you do that, you can get a very maximum increase in your potential voltage across your skin. Again, short it out, make it zero, and switch sides. And while I do this, as I do this, I start to become aware of this pulsing sensation. And I can feel that right at the entry and exit points of this current uh, as my skin makes contact with the probes and with the stone. So it is a palpable sensation when you are holding these rocks uh, with the testers. And you don't have that sensation without the rock. 
So this has been on millivolts the whole time. Let's switch it over to current at the most sensitive scale, the 200 micro amp scale. Again, baseline reading of 0.1. Pick up a rock. from 0 0.1 to 2.3, 2.4. So a significant increase in the current that my body is pushing just by picking up one of these magic rocks. You can replicate this yourself with a multimeter and some shungite. Can anyone explain the mechanism behind what is going on here. One more time. Baseline reading. And the bigger voltage increase comes from the type 3 shungite than from the type 1. Thanks for watching.